Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Project SPC here to show you how to connect the Joy-Cons as an X input controller. So first off, you're going to need to download and install three programs, VJoy, Joy-Con Driver, and X Output. I've left links to each of those in the description below. So go ahead and download and install them now. Next, we're going to open up Configure VJoy. Once in, we're going to make sure that device 1 and 2 are highlighted green. You see these settings and that it's enabled down in the bottom left corner. Next, we're going to go to the Bluetooth settings to pair the Joy-Cons. Grab your Joy-Con, press and hold the sync button. Once you see the green lights flashing, we're going to go back, add Bluetooth device. And we're going to select the Joy-Con from the menu. Once it's connected, we're going to click Done in the bottom right corner. And we're going to go and we're going to add our second Joy-Con. And before we continue on, let's make sure that both Joy-Cons are connected. The next program we're going to run is the Joy-Con Driver. Now, I'll be honest, I had some difficulty getting this to run the first time. I got a lot of missing DLL errors, and after a night's worth of troubleshooting, I was able to get it to run. I'll leave what I did to fix it down below. So I'm going to enable this reverse stick Y, and I'll explain why later. So your Joy-Con should still be flashing green. We're going to go ahead and click Start. Once it's complete, you're going to see the first player light indicator on. The last program we will need is X output. It's going to turn our Joy Cons into an X input controller. You're going to see several devices on the list. You're going to want to disable everyone but the first VJoy device. Let's take a look at the controller settings. Here you will map each Joy-Con button and access to the X input controller. It took a bit of tinkering to get these settings perfect. Be patient and use the VJoy monitor program that comes with VJoy to see which Joy-Con button and access maps to the numeric ID seen in the settings here. I personally had an issue where no matter what I did in these settings, my left analog stick Y axis would be reversed. I eventually had to correct it back at the Joy-Con driver program, which you saw earlier. Once we hit start, we should see a Xbox 360 controller in the devices settings. So let's go take a look. And there it is. Your Joy Cons are successfully set up as an X input controller. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. If this helped you out in any way, please press that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. I'll be posting another video in the next day or so with some requested gameplay footage. I'll also give an overall update on the progress, specifically some of the problems I've faced, and my proposed solution and timelines. I also give a brief introduction to my next project, which I've already started. Small form factor gaming PC enthusiasts will want to stay tuned.